let's tackle some tri-tips. But first, oh, we've got a youngling, lager, deliciousness. And that's my knife choice today for the trimming. A couple of delicious tri-tips that I picked up at HEB, right, right under the four pound mark. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and trim the fat, so let's get that done. My surgically ridiculous sharp knife, making quick work of that. And you can uh, just see that these tri-tips are just fantastic. Keeping that good fat there. I mean, just look at that. That's my go-to binder. That is a bouillon beef. A little goes a long way, guys. Just use a little bit. Coming in with that BBQ General uh, from PS Seasoning. Go with the edges and on the top. And I'm coming in with that black truffle butter from PS Seasoning. You guys, this stuff is amazing on beef. I, I highly recommend I'm uh, putting them in some freezer bags and into the refrigerator to go for overnight. And I'm keeping my scraps because that'll be the next batch of sausage. Yep. Here we go. This is the next day. I've got the black label. Bringing it down to 225. I'm going to uh, smoke these tri tips. Um, get them to that internal temp that I want. Pull them, rest them, and then go back and sear them. So this is what they look like after they've been in the fridge all night. They smell just so good. So on this grill, the hot side is actually on the far right. So I'm putting it actually on the cooler side, which happens to be on the left side, on the left lower rack. This is the actual coolest spot in this grill. So that's why I'm putting them right there. I know it looks crazy. Uh, that's a close-up of my peckin' pellets, by the way. Bear Mountain peckin' pellets in the hopper. And this is what we look like, guys. It's about uh, an hour and a half or so later. Um, uh, they're temping like 110, 115 at this point. I'm going to pull them and uh, rest them. Nice little close-up. So I'm gonna just go ahead and rest them. That's what they look like at that point. Um, let them relax a little bit. Now it's time to put some flame on them. So I'm bringing this bad boy up to 500 degrees. Uh, let's see what this thing can do. I've never seared anything on this thing yet. Uh, this would be my first time. But if you take a look at this flame, If you take a look at this flame, it's not going to be the last time that I do something like this. Just take a look at that. And that's just 500 degrees, guys. You can set it up higher if you wanted. This thing's ready to sear. So that's what we're doing. Going a couple of minutes on each side. That fire is raging. So I'm setting a timer on my watch um, for like a minute and a half to two minutes. And then I'm turning them at this point. I didn't really get too much of that on film. But uh, you guys kind of get the idea. Um, I mean, look at that. <laughs> that thing is going. So I pulled that one to the side. Um, very impressed with this open flame on this black label. I hadn't used it before. It does quick, quick work on some searing action. And I probably left them on there a little too long on, on one side each. Um, overcooked them a little too much. This will not be my last time to tackle tri-tip. I, I enjoyed this cook. Um, it gave me more ideas on what to do next time. But that's pretty much it right there. We're going to pull them. get the other side on that one and here they are they're, they're they're done so at this point I'm just gonna go ahead and rest them um, until dinner time we're gonna slice them up I'm gonna make a sauce that goes it's just sour cream and some horseradish like a lot of horseradish 
it, it just complements beef so damn good. If you guys haven't tried this sauce, try it. It's just sour cream and horseradish. That's it. Like, that's it. And so here we are. Let's go ahead and chop, chop, chop. <laughs> you can slice through these. Get you guys a couple close-ups on a few slices. Just check that out. What do you guys think? Not too bad for the first time searing a tri-tip. It smells fantastic. I got to get my taste. <laughs> you guys, this was amazing. So we're going to go ahead and flip it. and There's another slice there, man. I... This whole time that I was trimming them, I was just snacking on so many pieces. <laughs> it came out great. It came out great. Turn that and slice it that way. Against the grain. Another shot of the fat part there. <clears throat> I tasted another piece there. So here's the other tri-tip. Uh, let's go ahead and slice this one down the center. Do this one a little different. There is the inside shot. I think next time I'm not going to uh, smoke them as long as I did. Uh, but they came out delicious. I mean, I, I just learned off of this cook. I'll tell you that. Uh, everybody enjoyed it. Let's get this other piece and get it nice and sliced up. Very careful not to cut myself. Done. And here's a close up of the finished uh, tri tip. Sliced up and ready to eat. All that's left is to plate it. It's the only thing left to do. So let's go ahead and plate it. And here it is, you guys. I've got my salad. I've got my all gratin potatoes back there. My tri-tip with some of that horseradish sauce on top. This dinner was excellent, fantastic, delicious, and I will be doing it again. I will be back. I am not done with tri-tip. Peace out.